your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics. I club with Indie Shooter continuing on our coverage of NAB 2018, and it's rare we get to go outdoors, but we do to visit Small HD and their Daylight Bright monitors. And this is brand new, right? Yeah, yeah. Several of these are. They started with the Focus monitor, which is a popular monitor for Sony cameras, DSLRs. It's a bright display that also powers the camera, and uh, because of its popularity, we've developed a few other things. This is a an SDI version of that product with a full size BNC on the side. Um, again, to put it on uh, slightly higher end cameras. Um, back here is an OLED version of the Focus. Not only is it high contrast, beautiful OLED, but it's also 1080p as opposed to 720p of the original Focus. And um, it comes in HDMI and SDI options as well. And finally, we've made a uh, wireless version of oh, wow. the Focus. So this is a Focus um, with the 720p 800 nit panel with a Teradek Bolt 500 transmitter inside of it, and it's compatible with the Teradek Bolt 500 series of, of products. Um, it can transmit to a Bolt 500 receiver, as well as the Focus receiver. Um, so this is a Focus uh, Bolt uh, RX, the receiver module. We view this product probably going on a gimbal really nicely. It's a small form factor, but daylight viewable. We can send a signal to a product like this um, for follow focusing or um, jib operation exactly that kind of thing um, and then it, we can even transmit to our higher end product the 703 bolt um, which is a 3000 nit uh, monitor with a built-in receiver as well um, that can work with higher end uh, Teradek receivers like the Bolt uh, 1000 and 3000. So we've kind of created an ecosystem of daylight viewable monitors that also have wireless uh, transmitters and receivers built in. How are we powering these guys? Um, these uh, focus units are all powered through the LPE6 battery connection. Um, so we create also some other accessories. So if you're using a higher end setup for this, you don't want an L-series battery, you want a D-tap to something. And we create a cable that goes D-tap to L-series. And it locks in so it's not going to fall out like a barrel connector. That's the main way to power it. Uh, power output still exists on all of these. All, even though these are transmitters and receivers, you can still use them as a standalone monitor when you need to. And they still have their power output. So if you need to power uh, a camera with 7 volts from the battery, you can do that as well. Your unit that has a, a SDI and HDMI, well, it, does it loop through or how does it work? So the units only have HDMI or SDI and there is no loop through on these models, they're so small. Uh, we plan to be developing some products that are slight, a slight step up from this that have those features as well as cross conversion and that kind of thing, just not in this compact of a form factor. And like most of your monitors, they have a quarter 20s on the top, right? Yeah, top and side for the tilt mount. This is a, a tilt mount we developed. Uh, we also this, this tilt mount ships with every focus, uh, but we developed this thing called, we, we call it the pan cartridge. And basically, you can add it to your existing tilt mount, and it gives you the ability to pan. And it's kind of a cool thing for, again, for gimbals. Most gimbal operators don't put a monitor right in the front. So you put it off to the side, and then you tilt it toward your face, and then you're able to see and also not trip. Yeah, because that's an issue uh, with operators. Uh, someone from the SOC told us recently that uh, camera operators get killed more often than stunt people do. And I I, I'm, seriously, like, steady cam ops. I mean, they're wearing so much gear. It's it's pretty crazy to watch them work. And it's the the reason is they're looking at the monitor and they're not looking at their surroundings. So anything that can help them, you know, see is is really really good. So what are we talking about uh, availability wise? Yeah, great question. So the, the Focus SDI, uh, the Focus OLED HDMI, those will be shipping uh, in April, that's this month. And then um, the transmitter and receiver and the Focus OLED SDI, those will be shipping in May. So that's all coming up very quickly upon us. Excellent. Uh, and uh, did we talk price on these as well? I can go through it really quickly. So the, the base model that we launched last year is a $499 product. Add SDI to it, it's $599. Uh, the HDMI version of the OLED is $699 and $799 for the SDI version of the OLED. And then both the transmitter and the receiver are $1299 each, or if you get them in a combo, it's $2499. You save $100 for the combo. That's amazing. Great prices as usual. And also, uh, if people didn't get a chance to come out to NAB or see this, uh, there, you guys are going to be at Cinegear, I assume, right? Absolutely. We'll be at Cinegear, and you can find a lot more information at smallhd.com. Excellent. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter. Brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics.